All right guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're gonna learn how to build a brick pyramid. If you're new to brick lane, I'm gonna start doing more of these tutorials. I did a live stream yesterday. It was a catastrophe, so I thought I'd clean everything up and do a video for you instead. I will be doing more live streams in the lockdown, so watch out for them. Loads to come this week. Without further ado, let's get cracking. Obviously, we're gonna need some mortar, and this ratio is four sand to one cement. So just four parts of sand to one cement. Just add a little bit of that concentrated feb and you should be good. Got some bricks here as well and we're ready to go. Let's have a look at our tools next. Obviously we're going to need some tools to get you started, but the good news is it's not going to cost you a fortune. Right, so you need a trowel, this is a Marshall Town, Philadelphia pattern. We've got a boat level here, We've got a 1200mm level, spirit level, just a soft brush. And you can, I've got a paintbrush there as well, so that's not costly. This is a jointer, a footprint jointer. This one's 19 mil, I think. Yep, and this is just a small pointer from Marshall Town. You've got a four inch pointer there. Right, let's get cracking. We we're gonna put our wall here, a line, right where our wall's gonna go. It should be generally two foot or 600 mil away from your, your materials and your board. Do you know what I'm saying? There's like a line here with your materials and your board. You should be, give you a nice space to work in. And you always wanna be in between your materials and your wall. Start off by just drawing a nice line across here like that, just on the floor. And we're gonna do a pyramid that is the brick length of five bricks. Another tip for you is get a tape like this called the Brick Mate. It's dead handy when you're starting out. It tells you the size of each brick. One and a half there, see, one brick there, two, and so on. We want five bricks, so we're gonna mark a, a point here like this, and then we're gonna take our tape measure and five bricks is one metre, 115 mil. One metre, 115. Whenever you go into the brick sizes like this, one brick, just have a look over at the actual measurement, so it's 225 and so on, just to register it in your brain. Four bricks, 890, that's a popular one. We're just gonna spread like this. Scraping the right side, back down on the line, so we're twisting back and turning our trowel. So, as we're moving back, it's two motions in one, so we're moving back and we're twisting our trowel like that and then we're picking up because we can't go further than the floor we're just picking up for now with the tip of our trowel okay back on like that just keep repeating the process as we're going along we want a nice Toblerone shape Toblerone we like Toblerones don't we continuing all the way down the line until you come to your end point or your end brick right now when we've got to that there just cut it off so you know your end brick same there cut that off and then we're gonna furrow our bed now. Right, so when we're furrowing our bed, we don't wanna go daft, just a nice gentle furrow. And the way our home material is, okay, we're parallel to the mortar line there. I just come out about 45, 30 degrees. And then it's just a gentle tapping motion coming directly down that line with the tip of your trowel. So like this, parallel, about 45. The reason we do it like that is so that most of the mortar gets pushed this way like a wave because you want to keep everything from dropping down that side because that's the cavity side this so you don't want any more today near so like this gentle for her like that, nice and bonny get our first brick we're going to butter it when you're placing your first brick just rest it on the bed of mortar first and then you just gently want to apply even pressure throughout the brick you can hold it like this you find your own way you can put your fingers on but as long as you're not just pushing in one direction or on one end of the bricks or on either side so it's like a force all down an equal force all down the brick you can you can give it a little wiggle and what you can do as you as you're pushing it down just cut this mortar off by flipping your trowel like this like that you know so you can keep an eye on the bed as you're going down because you can tell a lot from your your bed how square your brick's going down all right so keep going down like this we're looking for a 10 mil joint all right for now but but i'm going to tell you more about this in a bit we're not actually gauging off this floor. I'll tell you about that in a bit. Right, so that's our first brick down. Now what I want you to do now is take your, take your bolt level and then we're gonna put it, we're gonna level it both ways this now. So you want your bolt level in the center of brick. Just give it a clean there, center of the brick. And we need to go down this way because the bubble's touching that line. So we're just gonna gently tap until it's in the middle. That's right there. And we're gonna check the width now, width ways. Rather than plumb this individual brick, which is difficult sometimes with rough head, with rough faces. We're gonna do it on the top. It's the same thing. Two fingers, just a gentle tap 
and that's right now. So we know that brick's perfect that way and this way. So that's right, set perfect. When we push out this brick onto that, we're obviously going to move this and we don't want to come away from our, our measurement line. So we're going to have to just give it a little support there. And then when we push this brick down, just give it a little wiggle like that to compress the joint. And then we're going to push it down. And we want this arish of the brick to match up with what we know is perfect, which is this brick. So we match this straight line to this one and we should be good. So gently pushing down, 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 applying pressure. And you can just check, give yourself a reference point, cutting like that. A couple of taps if you need. And then you're looking down this line as well. And then we can keep a reference, keep checking for our reference line, the pencil line, remember. So give it a cut like that, cut that off. And that's looking pretty good. Again, we don't need to support this, this, this back brick this time because we've got a brick in place. So again, down, flick there, a couple of wiggles, and then pressing down to that iris. Again and again, cutting. Same again, just repeating the process. Our last brick, same again. Giving it a cut, excess back on the board. All right, now we're ready to level our bricks. So what you want to do when you're leveling your first course or leveling any bricks for that matter, you want to clean the tops of your bricks because you don't want any bits of mortar on there. It's going to give you a false reading. And same with your level, keep that nice and clean. And we're going in the center of the bricks, right in the center. And then just give it a couple of taps down to your gauge brick, which we know is right. It's not gauge yet, but we know that brick's right. So we're always working from that and correcting these ones to that one. So pressure needs to go down a little bit. Couple of taps. Just gonna cut that again for our reference. And then scrape. Scrape that and back on the board. Now we're gonna range it in. All ranging is, is basically creating a straight line from one point to another. So we'll just say point A to point B. So we know that brick's right. Okay, we'll, what we'll do is we'll just see if we can level this across. That's right, so that's perfect. And it's on that line. Okay, it might need to come out a little bit. So that's, that's sorted and that's on the line, the uh, pencil line, this one is. So what we're gonna do is use a straight line to range those points in. Just give it a couple of taps. Want it right at the top of the brick so you can clear, it's clearly see. There we go. That's all those bricks ranged into these points, A and B. That's sorted. So just again spreading. This time when we're on this course, we can use a bit more of a, the mid portion of our trowel because we've got the room you see now. And of course, we're not putting a brick on the end here because we're doing a pyramid. So we don't need to spread on these ends here. You just see scraping the right side. So we've got a nice tub lawn shape and generally we want no bricks to be seen, you see. So just get, make sure you've got enough on. So you've got that nice shape. Go over it as many times as you want. Just a nice even tub lawn shape. And then the same again. For in our bed, we've got a trowel in parallel out it's not, so it's parallel and you're just coming out like, you're not coming down or anything. And you generally want about 30 degrees lift. Okay, nothing more, nothing steep and nothing too shallow. So parallel, out 45 and then the tapping motion in there. And what we're gonna do now is when we're collecting or scraping this off now, we want, we want to keep our trowel pretty vertical. We don't want it angled in like that because it's gonna we don't want it like this too angled because when we put a brick down there's going to be a void and we don't want that you see we want it nice and full so so what we'll do is just scrape it off and collect it keeping that like that so there's a bit of a you're working with gravity here so keep it nice and straight like that and then if you need to scrape your backside and go over it so it's perfect because it'll make your life easier off you doing beeping all the time like that so that our trouble is not too angled in
And our next brick, now we're going half bond, aren't we? So I'm looking straight in there. I want my thumb, I want the middle of this brick to be right over this perp joint here. And then we're gently pushing down and then we're going to cut off as we go down for reference again. What we're doing here now is we're looking for a 10 mil joint. We're going to gauge from the top of these bricks because we know that they're level. All we're doing with gauging is transferring this level line of bricks, you see, the top of these bricks, up to a different height. So we're going to gauge off that because we know that's a level line. Right, so gentle pressure and then cutting off to use this as reference. Now we can use that, the bottom of this brick to match up with that line, the top of this line. We want a 10 mil joint. So we're cutting off with the tip of our treble until we get to a 10 mil. And we can check that on our tape. So we want 75 mil because the standard brick is 65 mil plus 10 mil joint. And we probably need to go down and touch there. So we'll just give it a couple of taps with the butt end of your treble. And then that's good, that. That's our 10 mil joint. So we're ready for our next brick. Just supporting that so we can push that on. And then we're pushing that aris down to match this one. Gently scraping. Just need to put a bit on, you can get a bit on your tip and scrape it on the top like that. And then again pushing that down. Want that perp over that. So I want the middle of this brick over this perp. And gently pushing down, scraping the excess. And then our last brick of this course. We don't need to butter it, do we? Push onto that. A couple of wiggles, compress the joint, and then push down. Scrape it off. So we get our level on again. We're going to scrape our tops. Bang our level in the centre again of the bricks. We're going to tap this down, these to our gauge point, so we've got a nice solid hit on the level. You'll feel it. That's right there. So we've got some pressure on there now, and then we'll just adjust these accordingly down to the level. There we go. And that's right, okay. Now we can see we've got to scrape this excess off. We can try and do that. And then we're going to just touch that back because that's protruding a little bit. You can always feel where your bricks are protruding or not, you see. When you're cutting that, you can see the, the it's not catching or anything. So everything's okay. Now we're going to plumb these, get our boat level. We're good there. Just want to touch over a bit. And we're good there. And then we're going to range again, range those points in A and B with a straight line, which is in this case is our level. Sometimes it's a string line. That's okay. Same again. And then scraping, remember, collecting vertical. And then again, we're going to line this perp up with this underneath now because we can sight this through now. And I can see that perp down there. And as I'm pushing down, scraping. There's a reference to see where I'm at. Let's check with our tape. Now we're going from our gauge line, which is the top of these bricks, remember, which we know is level. So we want 150 now, because that's 75 times the table. Push this on now, a bit of support for that one. The last brick for this core. Don't need to butter it, do we? We're just going to put that on a couple of wiggles again and then push that down. Scraping our top, always want to be diagonal, never square because you might catch a joint. And then we're going to knock that down to our gauge brick and then level across to correct these two to the gauge brick. And then give it a scrape again and then cut. Always excess mortar back on, but try and not waste it. So we could plumb the foot at the bottom and a couple of taps over on, on our uh, ranging point A and then a tap over on our ranging point B. And 
range those in. Next brick. Gently pushing down, keeping that perp in line with this one, remember? And keep scraping your reference point, the bottom of this brick matching up with that brick. You'll see because if you're pushing down like this and you keep referencing it, you're going to see that that's a wedge shape now, so you don't want that. Right, we want to gauge this one. I'll put a gauge point 225 we're looking for. That's right, 225. Three courses there. And then we'll level that across. You don't want any gaps in the top of your level. As you're going up, when we range that like this, you can do a diagonal range just to check everything on the first plane is bang on. Like so, which is what I missed off the live stream the other day, yesterday, sorry. That's good, that's all touching. You're mostly working with the tip of your trowel here, because you've just got more control over it, it? you can manoeuvre it more. So no butter on this one, just gentle pressure. Again, iron that edge of the brick down with that one. So we've got our 10 mil, roughly. And let's just have a look on the gauge. Again, from our level line, 300. So we need to go down a mil. So, there we go. Let's have a look at that now. So is that in line? Check it if that's in line. Yep. What we can do, just get our bolt level again. And then let's have a look at that. It's okay. Check it there. That's good there. And then we'll give it a final range with the diagonal. So any bricks protruding. Yeah, that's good. Now we're going to finish this pyramid and we're going to joint it with this one. It's nice and easy and these are relatively inexpensive. This one's a footprint one, but the two Marshall Town ones, there's a lot of different brands out there. And then we're just going to brush it off with a little soft paintbrush. So basically, I'll show you now what, how we use this. So this one is 16mm that side, 19mm that side. We're going to use the 16mm one here. This is the knuckle of the jointer. You need to get your, your finger or your thumb in it. Depends which side you're going from. If you're going from the left to the right, you can get your, your thumb in there. If you're going like I'm going to do now, you get your finger in there. And basically, we need to push. We push that way and then we come back like this. Perps first. My mistake. Perps first. <laughs> and then we're going to get a finger in the knuckle of the jointer. And then push out. So pushing out, coming back. Push your night, we're back. Easy as that. And then you want to tuck them in now, so just go over. Because you get a little bit of a flake there coming over called mouse's ears or something. Just want to tuck that in. So it's nice and neat. It takes a bit more time, but it does make all the difference. And then to finish, I'm going to take our soft brush and just give it a gentle, gentle, gentle brush. People have said you can do it with a sponge, which you can. I've not really tried it properly yet, that, so. But I just like to use a brush like that, up and down. That just takes all the flaky bits off. It's a nice little project to start off with, but I understand it could be really difficult when you start a brick lane, but you've just got to stick with it and just take your time. Concentrate on the brick you're on and, and don't 
move away from it unless that's right. The same with the course of break. Don't move up until you know that course is perfect because you're always working to what you've previously laid. So that's a little tip for you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.